Hey, how's it going guys? Gonna do a video over the Jam Master setup, meaning the tools that you need to really move effectively and efficiently with the Jam Master. I've got a lot of questions on Instagram about what tools you need, what works best. So I'm gonna go over uh, what I've found to work best in this video. First things first with the Jam Master, obviously you're gonna need your pre-cut shims and you're gonna wanna be able to grab those in an organized way. For that, I use a Festool sustainer. This is a SIS 4, and I've got four different thicknesses of shims, and uh, I go a quarter inch, three eighths, half inch, and five eighths, and if I need to go thicker than that, I'll just double them up, but I've got that divided on the inside into four different compartments, and then I just refill that at the beginning of every job. I really like using the sip roll from Festival for this because this is something uh, normally I keep my drills and then my miscellaneous fasteners and stuff on this sis roll, but at the beginning of the job, whenever I go to set doors, I just take those off. I installed this custom shelf deal that I made. It installs into the T-slots on the sis roll. It works great. And then I can just pop my box of shims on there. Whenever I'm done setting doors, all this stuff will come off. I'll put my drills and consumables back on this cart. Down here, I've got a drawer with some random stuff. Mostly use this for my glue stick storage, but that works really great also. You can put nails and glue sticks in there and kind of relieve some of the clutter up here. So a couple of your most critical tools that you're gonna need. Number one is a glue gun. Surebonder just recently came out with this glue gun. It comes with a couple different adapters for uses with the batteries and the main tool platforms. Uh, DeWalt, Milwaukee, Makita, Ryobi, I think they make the adapter for just about every gun, uh, for every battery platform. I was really apprehensive about whether this would work well or not, but this gun actually works better than my corded guns I've found. Uh, it keeps up just fine and it's completely cordless, so I highly, highly recommend this gun. In the past, I've used, uh, I have owned two different of these Fasten Master guns. They're not a good gun. I've had really bad luck with them. Um, one of them quit working. I had to take it apart, blah, blah, blah. This one barely dispenses glue anymore. Um, just not impressed with these. Then I got an electric sure bonder. This worked fine, but the cord was a little bit short. So I'm just thrilled to be completely cordless with this gun. And the battery, with the five amp hour battery, it actually lasts at least a half day, if not a whole day. So uh, very pleased with that gun. Next up is gonna be your router setup. I started out just grabbing a router that I had laying around. I like these Bosch routers, put a clear base plate on it, uh, your guide bushing, and then a 7 8 inch wide uh, straight bit with a half inch shank on this router. I wanted to get away from the cords if I could. DeWalt came out with their cordless compact router. Again, I was apprehensive if the battery would be good enough to do the job, but it's been great. Put a clear base plate on it, uh, the bushing, and then this is a quarter inch shank bit by Freud. Uh, seven eighths wide also. So I have all this stuff on my Amazon list. You also want the plunge base. I do uh, put a little bit of a thread locker on the bushing and even around the uh, collet to make sure nothing comes loose while I'm routing. Um, because I typically do a lot of doors at once. So if something was loose, you might not notice it until it was too late. Uh, so. Extremely happy with this router also. Being cordless with this setup really makes it nice. A couple other random things. Um, this is a 3 16 ball land hex uh, driver. And this is for switching out your extensions for doing wider doors like uh, double doors, French doors. Um, a lot of times I carry a drywall router because the drywallers never remove the drywall properly around the door openings. So I find this is really quick just to zip around things and get it all cleared off. I use playing cards for micro shimming. Uh, so that's pretty self-explanatory. 
behind every hinge <clears throat> whenever I'm setting doors I, re I will remove the hinge take the three screws out flip the hinge back and then I'll install uh, three and a half inch uh, screws these are Phillips head with uh, I think they're made by grip right or prime guard or something but they drive really nice I like these screws because the Phillips head is the same as the hinge screws so you're not switching out bits obviously to do the screws you're going to need a drill with a phillips bit uh, nails two and a half inch nails and as far as glue sticks go this flex 40 hot melt you can get this on amazon but that sets up really quick it's worked great i've never needed to try anything else so i keep plenty of that on hand next thing is going to be nailers Nothing sets nails like an air nailer, but again, if you can be completely cordless with this system, it works great. So I'm using the DeWalt, mainly because I'm on the DeWalt platform. I like to stay with the same tools that will operate on those batteries. This is a brand new gun because my first DeWalt 15 gauge just gave out, but it's setting nails great in three quarter inch poplar casing. Uh, happy with this gun, it's not perfect, but it does the job. So hopefully this overview helps spinning the cart around. Again, this is the tray. It's just got a couple knobs with T-bolts in here. I also mounted a three-way cord for whenever I was using a cordless router and glue gun. That way I could plug my cord in and plug in a couple of tools here. Um, shim box will just come, come right off. And uh, this cart works great. It's very mobile. I've seen guys just have like a box of shims on the floor and that just seems really inefficient to me versus being able to, uh, you know, just have everything in one place, really organized. Uh, this whole setup just works really well. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. It's extremely important to be organized with the Jam Master and have all your tools really accessible. I copied my buddy Justin whenever I got my Jam Master. He had basically this same system and this has worked really well for me. So all of these tools will be listed on a tool list on my Amazon page. So if you are looking for this stuff, go there. It helps support the channel. I appreciate it. And let me know in the comments if you've got any questions about the tools it takes with the Jam Master. I'll try to answer those and maybe even pin some of those questions on the top of the comments. So thanks for watching as always, appreciate it.